destiny. I can't protect her. Hello, Witcher fans! This is the moment you have all been waiting for as season 2 of the series will be finally released in the next couple of months. So sit back, relax, and continue watching about all you need to know on this brilliant Netflix fantasy drama series. But before we continue, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more updates on The Witcher series. This is the official release date for The Witcher. But rather than only talking about the release date, what else do you need to know about The Witcher season 2? Well, there is a lot. In these upcoming episodes, Episodes, we'll get to see Geralt and Ciri on their journey together. First off, Netflix has confirmed The Witcher Season 2 is coming in the final quarter of this year at an unspecified time, but it is coming alright. Netflix later gave a more specific release date, which is between October and the end of December. So with this being said, this is when we will finally get to see it. Additionally, Netflix has released two short teasers of the next season, so you can count them as mini trailers for the return of the series. Even though the first teaser is only 12 seconds long, it includes a lot of events if you look at it closely. The first teaser mostly revolves around Ciri who has gone out on a run after supposedly having her home conquered by the Nilfgaardian Empire back in the last season. And this is making us assume that the new episodes will pick up right where the storyline ended back in season 1 where Ciri met with Geralt. In late 2020, Netflix released some backstage photos of Ciri, Geralt, and Yennevar in season 2 of The Witcher during shooting. In the photos, we can clearly see Ciri holding some kind of weapon, which probably indicates that this next season will focus on her getting trained as something of an honorary richer at Kair Morhen. And just a couple of months later, Netflix released yet another set of photos as well as the first page of the script from the first episode of season two. Okay, so we kind of took a peek at the script and sorry to disappoint, it really didn't give much away on the storyline or anything at all, basically. The whole cast of season two has been revealed. The previous cast members will all be a part of season two. These members include Henry Cavill, who plays Geralt, Anya Chalotra as Yennefer, and Freya Alan as Siri, but the full cast of the second season has been revealed by Netflix as well. And it did have a few new characters we are about to get used to. For all we know, two new witchers are joining the cast. Them being Cohen, played by Yasin Atur, and Lambert, played by Paul Bullion. This has made us think that the next season will be taking us to Kair Morhen, which is the place where new witchers are trained. However, if you have read the book version of The Witcher, you have already been presented with these two new characters, both of whom belong to the Wolf Witcher school just like Geralt and Vesemir. The show also announced that Eskel will be recast and will be played by Swiss actor Basil Eidenbenz in this upcoming season. This switching cast members only happened after numerous changes had to be made because of the coronavirus pandemic. It is actually kind of surprising that the show has decided to bring some extra witchers into this next season because these monster hunters are considered to be a rare breed. Even though there are not too many witchers running around this show, there are still some references of other witcher schools existing, such as the cat and bear. But the only witcher school that is actually doing something against the monster threat facing the continent is the School of the Wolf, which is where Geralt belongs to. When it comes to other additional announcements for the cast, it has been revealed that Killing Eve's Kim Bodinia plays Witcher trainer Vesemir, and Christopher Hizu is best known as Game of Thrones Tormund Giantsbane, will play Nivellen. Other members who will be a part of the show will include Aisha Fabian Ross as Lydia, Mekia Simpson as Francesca, and Agnes Bjorn as Verena. There are also many reports that say that Kamara Lanaido will also be a part of season 2 for at least 3 episodes. This this next season will have different directors. When it comes to the directors and the writing team, Hisrich has explained to Twitter that her hiring process is really different from other shows. She says she is constantly in search of new writers and directors to give new creative ideas to the show. Hisrich looks for various writing styles, ideas, and new people that dive deep into a fantasy world, which they are not afraid to question. Most importantly, she's open to hiring dedicated fans of the show, as they would be the most creative people to give the series as much life as possible. In July 2020, Netflix announced the Witcher Blood Origin, a six-part live-action prequel series about the first Witcher. The synopsis will talk about 1200 years before Geralt of Rivia, the world of monsters, men and elves merged into one, and the first Witcher who came to be. So if that ever gets released, it will definitely give the second season more meaning and a little bit of spice. Behind this newly announced show will be Lauren Schmidt Hisrich and series writer Declan De Barra, and none of the cast we mentioned above. Yup, this prequel series will include a whole new cast. What will this next season be about? 
As we all expect, Ciri will be taking the center stage, after Geralt starts thinking that Yennefer passed away at the Battle of Sodden by the end of this season. The White Wolf takes his young magical charge to his childhood hunt of Caer Morhen. So be prepared to expect some really amazing vistas from Geralt's home. But let's not talk about Geralt for a second, because the main focus of this other season will be Ciri. According to the books, Ciri will be the main character and things will revolve around her. So expect to see her relationship with Geralt, her importance as a magical royal with elven heritage, her ongoing going efforts to survive, and how all this shapes events on the continent. Okay, so another thing you will really love about this next season is that it will not be as complicated as the first season, since the end of season 1 brought all the separate threads together nicely. Hisrich has confirmed that Geralt, Ciri, and Yennefer exist in the same timeline now, so their stories will be told simultaneously. This basically means that the story will be told in a much more linear version, but this doesn't mean all three of them will be together at all times. There will be one storyline, but mostly in different scenes. We will also be getting episodes episodic Geralt monster hunting adventures that we love in this upcoming season as well. In this second season, the bond between Ciri and Geralt will be discovered more deeply. Unfortunately, we haven't seen much between them either in the first season or the book version. Without spoilers, we will also say that there's a crop of new monsters and new and unexpected pairings of our favorite characters. Expect to see more from magical villainess Fringilla too. This show will be digging deeper into her past and how she ended up at Nilfgaard, as well as who she is as a person and how she and Yennefer ended up on such different paths. In other words, expect more metal mind control earworms. There will be a meeting between the forces of Nilfgaard and the elves, including King Foltest, Stregobor, and Vilgefortz. This was made clear after a couple of photos the show released recently. There will be a Witcher animated movie too? We apparently have it all. The book version, a show, a video game, and now we will also have an animated movie of The Witcher. Wow. People must love this story as they are asking for a lot. This animated movie will be called The Witcher, Nightmare of the wolf. However, there's still not a lot of information on what the movie will be about or when it will be released, but we kind of have overheard that the movie will be out before season 2 gets released on Netflix. So basically, this movie will be released pretty soon. It has also been revealed that the movie will be 1 hour and 21 minutes long. The movie will focus on Vesemir, Geralt's mentor. The story will take us back to a new threat facing the continent. As for the cast members, all we know is that Kim Bodinya will be lending his voice for the animated movie as well as appear in season 2. The Witcher Season 3 looks likely also. The Witcher could run on Netflix for a long time. Hisrich claims that this show will probably last for a total of seven seasons. There's plenty of books and external material for the creators to draw on, so it stands to reason that we can expect more of them throughout the next few years. Do you also think there will be a season three of this series? We sure think there will, as it has endless things to be added to this story. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next video.